He's not getting traded. He's staying a star. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dallas Stars have re-signed forward Jason Robertson to a four-year deal with an average annual value of $7.75 million per season. Now, I know a lot of people were like, when was this deal going to get done? Are the Stars trading him? Are they not signing him? Is this going to go into the season? No, it's not. The Stars get it done. He will join the team at training camp, and the Stars now have back arguably their best forward. Or I shouldn't even say arguably, he was their best forward last season. Last year, Jason Robertson scored 41 goals and 79 points and became the fourth fastest player in Stars history to score 100 points. That's a big deal. But what I believe took this contract a little too long to get done was that the market was being set as they were negotiating. We had the Matthew to Chuck contract that came out. We had the Tage Thompson contract, the Stutzla contract, the Kairou contract, which... All of these players, I would say, outside of Tuchuk, you could say are comparables or that Robertson is maybe even better than. So in Jason Robertson's case, he's going, well, I'm better than this player. I should be making this much. But the Stars owner has been very vocal about not wanting to give out long-term contracts to young players for whatever reason. Because I do think that if the Stars were willing to give out a long-term contract, this deal would have gotten done a lot sooner. 7.75. It's still a lot of money, don't get me wrong, but if the Stars were really committed to signing a long-term deal, it would have been a lot more than this. This was even mentioned in an episode of 32 Thoughts not too long ago, where I'll read you an excerpt from it. Friedman goes, oh yeah, if it's an eight-year deal, it's going to be huge. And Merrick responds with, it's going to be a massive number. Now, the Stars avoid that, but they don't really avoid it. They kind of just kick it down the road because with this four year deal at the end of it, he's still going to be an RFA. And this is where the danger lies in this type of contract, because we know Jason Robertson is only going to get better from here. 41 goals. He could score 50. He can be an average 50 goal scorer for the Dallas stars. And with that, he can command more money at the end of this contract. So what may look like a steal now at 7.75, if he puts up massive numbers, over these next four years, the Dallas Stars are going to have to pay him or you risk losing the asset. Now, another comparable to this this offseason with this bridge deal, which to be honest, bridge deals aren't signed as often as you think, but the Stars seem to have done it twice this offseason so far. But a comparable to it would be the Patrick Line contract, where even though he's a little bit older, the Blue Jackets signed him to a four-year $8.7 million deal, which basically it's going to be a show me contract, show me that you can be a number one player, show me that you can be this 40 goal scorer. But in Robertson's case, I believe he's kind of already proved that and I think that his ceiling is only getting higher. So I think that this will be something that the stars, this could end up really hurting them in the end. Because if you just look at their cap situation going forward, they don't have many players signed past 2025-26. In fact, the only two are Tyler Sagan and Miro Haskinen. And so besides players like Ottinger, who's going to need another contract, as well as Robertson, there's going to be Mason Marchment, Rope Hintz, who's arguably their next best center, Dennis Gurianov, Joel Kiviranta, Niels Lundqvist, if he gets better, and Thomas Harley, who's a very good young defenseman. So what you might think, oh, they're going to have a lot of cap space, so then a lot of these guys could end up commanding raises, which could eat in. That's why I believe it would have been in the star's best interest to not only pay the man, but get him on a long-term deal now. Now, obviously there's some limitations to that with their cap situation now and whatnot. So the bridge deal kind of works, but at the same time, this could really end up impacting the Dallas Stars in the future as they might have to move out one of these secondary pieces in order to accommodate for not just one, but also Ottinger. So is it a good move for the Dallas Stars? 100%. At this point, yes, you get your player but you have to worry about this now later. You have to worry about if Jason Robertson booms, which I think he will, these stars are gonna have to be able to pay this guy whatever he commands because he is that good. He is going to become the focal point of this Dallas Stars offense and he will be the man on this team. He will be the guy outside of Haskin and on defense. But yeah, those are just my thoughts surrounding the Jason Robertson contract. Like I said, I think it's a good deal, but at the same time, I don't know why the Dallas Stars didn't want to sign him to a long-term deal. I get the risk aspect of it, but it's a pretty good bet. But yeah, those are just my two cents on the deal. Follow up my Instagram. It's buzzing for muzzin. You already know what it is. But yeah, leave a like, subscribe, tell me what you like. Do you like this deal? 
Do you not? Please let me know in the comments and I'll see y'all next time.